Chicago, Lutzenberger, L-U-T-N-E-S-B-E-R-G-E-R. -E -E Hello? Hi, this is Colin Singleton. Is, is uh, Catherine there? Speaking. What did you say your name was? Colin Singleton. That's so familiar. Do I know you? When you were in fourth grade, I might have been your boyfriend for two weeks in a summer program for gifted children. Colin Singleton. Oh, yeah. Wow. Of all people. Um, this is going to sound really weird, but on a scale of one to five, how popular were you in fourth grade? Uh, what? And also, do you have a brother who is into spelling bees? Um, yeah, I do. Who is this? This is Colin Singleton, I swear. I know it sounds weird. I was. I don't know. I mean, I had a few friends. We were kind of nerdy, I guess. Okay, thanks, Catherine. Are you, like, writing a book? No, I'm writing a mathematical formula that predicts which of two people will end their relationship and when. Um, where are you, anyway? Whatever happened to you? What happened, indeed? Lauren's challenge. She asked me to act out a scene from a John Green novel, and I acted out a scene from An Abundance of Catherine's. And I chose that scene because I thought it was a really important part of the story, and also for Colin's character, and I love this book so much, and if any person watching this has not read it, it's incredible, and I think it's awesome, so read it. And I were discussing this challenge and how epic it was and I think we decided that everybody would be doing it this week and yeah so enjoy and everybody do it and I think I'm just going to use that as my challenge hope I'm allowed and yes I know it's cheating to use that as my challenge <laughs> Lauren asked us what TV show we would want to be in, and I for sure choose Glee! Open your heart to me. Because it is so epically awesome in every single way possible. I don't think I've ever loved a show this much. Actually, that's a lie. I have loved quite a few TV shows, and I still do. But it makes me laugh out loud every time, and I love the music, and I love everything about it. Which is why I chose it for my lip sync challenge. Sorry, I didn't post last week. I know we kind of made a vow to post every week, and but my computer just decided to break, and I had to reformat everything, which means that I had to restore it to its out-of-the-box condition. And I've had to do this a couple of times already, but it means that all my files were deleted, and I had to back everything up. It just really failed, but now it's up and running again. So hopefully from now on, I will have a good streak and post every week. And I made a rhyme. I see you on the street, and you walk on Laura mentioned this book in a video a couple of months ago, I think. The minute she mentioned it, I went and looked it up, and it's Abundance by Senna Jeter Nesland. Nesland? Senna Jeter Nesland? I hope I'm saying her name right. I have absolutely no idea, and I probably am not. But it is a novel about Marie Antoinette, and Marie Antoinette is my favorite historical figure, so I decided that it would only be appropriate that I buy it. Thank you so much, Laura, for introducing it to me. I'm almost done with it. And I also just finished Second Helpings by Megan McCafferty. Um, it's a sequel to Sloppy First from the Jessica Darling series, and Maybe you've heard some other YouTube vloggers talk about it. It's a really good series, and don't be deceived by the covers. I think Laura and I were talking about this um, a few weeks ago, about how um, the covers are deceiving, and I highly encourage girls to read the series, because it's really good, and I just actually finished Second Helping, so I'm hopefully going to get Charmed Thirds soon. Open your heart to me. time I've gotten lip syncing as a challenge and I enjoy it a lot but 
I'm sorry if anybody else wanted it. It was really fun. Uh, I hope you girls all enjoyed your challenge. And Laura, I'll see you tomorrow. I want to love you.